that, you know, the whole set. Oh. Oh. Oh, Pearl. <laughs> oh. They're never gonna let me out on parole. Not while Baxter's here. Debbie and Sarah. I'm coming to join you. I'll miss you, Beryl. I love you, my friend. That's it, Brown. Do it. Do it. I'm gonna be right with you, love. I have the letter which you wrote to Brown. What letter? I don't understand. Don't come that crap with me. The letter you wrote to Brown for an attempt to make her suicidal. What the hell have you been led into this time by those inmates? They get more say than the officers do in this place. The women in Wentworth have more feelings and emotions than you'll ever have. Oh, take your rose-coloured glasses off, Peterson. They're animals. They'll use any story they can get hold of to get at us. And you've fallen for the biggest trick in the book. As far as I'm concerned, you're the biggest trick I've ever seen. You make Paul Daniels look small. He is small. Don't ruin my joke. Uh, oh, what the freaking hell are you doing, you stupid bitch? You probably think you're really something pulling off that sick plan to make me top myself. Well, I'm still here. Psst. Hot. Just about ready, I'd say. I'll show you. No, Brown! I'll bloody do anything! No! Oh, Brown! Oh, 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 oh. Good day, girls. Did you miss me? Well, I'm back now to take over this joint and I'll finish anyone who gets in my way. You're finding Beryl. Oh, someone bloody pinched him. What happened to you? Brown done it to me with a soldering iron. What you gonna do? Cut her friggin' head off when I get better. What about we both cut her head off then? Oh yeah, I'll get ya. Come on now. Oh, looks like I've been saved by the bell. Bitch. Oh. Can you all gather around? <laughs> Brown, I'm feeling a little bit off colour. I'll be back in a bit. Righty, I, Miss Radcliffe, we get another drink ready. Now, I know everyone's having a good time, but we've got to remember who we're having this party for. Pearl. Mr. Jeffries, we wasn't expecting you. Hello, Mr. Jeffries. I'm Miss Baxter. Good afternoon, Miss Baxter. I'll then take you through then, sir. Um, what's this? Oh, um, I wasn't expecting anyone. I can see that. Seems that you were right, Miss Baxter. I see. It's a smart attempt to get me out of the chair. Something Miss Baxter here has always wanted. I wouldn't go digging yourself deeper if I were you, Miss Peterson. Well, what about the rest of the prison, sir? I think you need to see exactly how these women are being treated. Oh, what about if we go to the um, staff room and have a cup of tea? We can talk things through. How's about we do what Miss Baxter says, hmm? Oh, I'm buggered. Brown's got it coming to her. Yeah, that's right, she's finished. You just wait. It's probably coming from one of the dorms. 
The women aren't allowed stereos in the dormitories. Well, I've seen it all now. I can't believe this. Oh, blast! Turn it off quickly, Leslie. How on earth did they get alcohol in here? Probably from Mrs. Peterson's office, sir. You calculating little bitch. You've set me up. Mrs. Peterson, you are now looking at your new governor. Oh, thank you, sir. You've really gone and got your own way this time. It's the way things are supposed to be. Now, seeing as you are second in command, you can go and arrange for the women to be locked up. Well, I, I thought you would enjoy doing that. Go now. <laughs> Kate, I have yet to send that report to Mr. Jeffries. Well, after what he has seen, he'll think you're trying to get it back at me. No. See, I've got Radcliffe and Maysworth as witnesses. And I've also got the letter which you wrote to Brown claiming Butterfield was dead. Where is it? Everything I had on you was sent to Mr. Jeffries and Mr. Clark. You might as well enjoy your five minutes in that chair because by tomorrow you'll be redundant. I knew our time would come. What do you mean? I mean a showdown, Pilo. Well, OK, then. You might roll me out like a roller lino, but I'll enjoy a few slaps I get in. Things are going to change around here now that bitch has made it to the top. We've got to come up with something. Do you think she was the one that got rid of me cockroach, love? Yep, I'd say you're spot on. Bloody what the hell's going what on? What the friggin' hell's going on? Is there going to be another riot or Bloody what? Bloody screws. They can't keep us cooped up in our friggin' cells for more than 48 hours. Wentworth's my domain. You won't get away with this, you sick, twisted fuck. You're finished. This is from the women. Come on, Peterson. You can do better than that. Look, that's enough now of these charges games. Enough now, come on, don't be stupid. You're finished. <laughs> that's enough now. Oh, well, thank God for that. I thought I'd have to roam all around the prison looking for you both. Are you all right, Mrs. Peterson? Yes, well, look, never mind about that. Look, I want you to both let the women out. Are you mad? There'll be another riot. They know Kate's governor now. I know. Do you both want Kate out of the seat? Well, of course we do. I like Brown and I know she wants Kate dead. If anything happened in all the chaos that takes place, we could cover it all up in the courts. Mrs. Peterson, you don't know what they're capable of. I mean, look at what happened to you and Kate last week. I know that. That's why I think it's a good idea. Brown will lead the way, and if you give her a hint as you let them out, you haven't heard what she's about to do. Forget exercise period and eating in the canteen. They are supposed to live in their dormitories. The only room heated in this building is the office. Oh, I wonder why it's a bit chilly. So, are we going to let Kate take charge, or are we all going to get rid of her? Oh, sorry, Miss Peterson, but I think you've had too much to drink. I think it's the only way, apart from the report. I thought you said you sent it. I did. But do we really want to wait for about two weeks before they get to the bottom of it? Let's kick her ass out of Wentworth once and for all. Mrs Radcliffe? Well, it could get out of hand. So did we when we dealt with Duncan, remember? Oh, Melanie. All right, let's do it. What's that, Melanie? Oh, uh. Hey, we're wasting time. I'll join you if you don't mind. I must admit, I do enjoy being there when the women receive good news. Oh. She'll be in her office. Come on. Oh. Hey, Top Dog, are we going to protest on the roof? Bugger all we what can do, banged up in here, you stupid drongo. Oh, shut up. In there, you crazy There's no way bitch. she can take over as governor. The bloody shut prison up, will Jenkins. close down. I just wish someone would tell us what's going on. Brown? Who's out there? Who is it? Jane? How do I know? I can't bloody see through walls, can I? 
Mrs. Peterson, what's going on? Look, we're going to let you out. What? Now, this is never to be brought up again, Brown. Do you hear me? Bloody hell! Brown, give us ten minutes for our own safety. It's all up to you now. What's the caper, Brown? Now, this is the plan. See, Beryl got some keys made. The old yeast trick on Radcliffe earlier. We're letting everyone out. Peterson, where are you off to? Oh, I'm in a little bit of a rush. I feel sick. You are sick, Peterson. <sighs> oh, Kate. Mm? Did you see Radcliffe or Maysworth come this way? I've sent them up to the women. I suppose they've got to be fed. We've got no cook. Thought I'd save the department some money. Oh, bugger. And Peterson, when you next address me, you'll address me as governor. And when that report goes through, I'll make sure my record's wiped clean again. You'll see, I'll make sure of it. What have you got there, Marsha? Petra, what do you want that for? Where's my hat? Oh, don't you start all that again. Well, you took it. I might pop down to the kitchen and see what tucker they've got in the cupboards. Is it? Where is it? Well, where is it? How about a fire? Oh, don't be stupid. We'll all be killed off. Who are you calling stupid? Well, what happens if we can't get out of the building? We'll all snuff it. Don't be stupid. The screws will pull it out before it gets out of control. I want a showdown with Brown, and I thought you were going to help me. But, oh, no. You go and turn chicken on me at the last minute. Fair go. I told you I'm with you, didn't I? Well, keep up, then. It's either we push her off the roof or throw her down the stairs leading up to solitary or we could make a bonfire out in the garden and she can be the guy on top. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll get you. Come on, then. Let's start a fire. Pass your lighter. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a bloody good start. Who stole my hat? What, what's, what's that smell? Uh, I'm getting out today. Someone help. I think it's a bomb. I think it's a fire. Mm. Ah! Oh. Who stole my hat? <coughs> Who's the... <coughs> Who stole my hat? Locked. Oh, it seems a bit creepy to me. I hope they're not all down in the reception waiting to bash our brains in.
me all the smoke. Oh, 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 oh bloody hell, it's a bloody fire. Oh my God, I told her. Oh God, what's happening? Well, Brown, what's it feel like to be looking at your new governor? <laughs> oh, what's going on? Adams? Adams! Is this a private party or can anyone join in? Oh, Brown. Congratulations. You really fooled me this time. How did you get this whole thing set up? Didn't take too much work. I mean, you've got enemies crawling out from everywhere. Who really is a friend of yours? There's no one. Well done. <laughs> but I don't need friends. I use Facebook and Twitter. You don't need to meet up with people nowadays. I'm part of Aussie Doms. It's a forum on the outside. It's so much more exciting than prison pussy. Whatever floats your boat, Baxter. Of course, you're completely out of touch with what's going on on the outside. And you'll never get out. Not whilst I'm in the chair. Well, are you going to take me on right now or haven't you got your gloves? Uh, uh, bitch! Uh, uh, You're finished, Brown. And the sooner you realise it, the better. Screw you, you muppet. Bitch. At least my mouth moves when I speak, Brown. You make one wrong move now, and I'll make Butterfield's life a living hell. She's all mine now, Brown. The whole prison's all mine, and there's nothing you can do about it. It's that cladding. It's not real. It's part of the studio. Oh, hell block H. What can we do? Oh, good riddance to bad rubbish. I knew this place wouldn't hold up in a fire. Let's hope they're all heading for the roof. No! No! Please, no! Oh, no! I'm missing Corrine! Looks like your luck's just run out. You're gonna burn, Baxter. No, Brown! You gotta help me! You've got Buckley's chance of getting out of this one, Baxter. <sighs> Come on, Brown. <coughs> we can help each other. We're both clay. 
<laughs> we can both stick together. <laughs> I might get out of here, but you've got no chance. You're gonna burn. No, Brown. Listen. <laughs> You'll get your parole. <laughs> I'll see to it. <laughs> You're on the wrong side of the bars this time. I hope they're going up those stairs. They do go on forever. Oh, who's that up there? It looks like Stanton. What is she doing? I can't stand it. I can't stand it anymore. No, Stanton. Stop, we're getting help. Paperwork's gone up. I knew they should have backed it all up on a hard drive. They wouldn't listen. <laughs> no! Come on, Beryl. We're gonna run out of time. <coughs> oh, it's not in the contract, love. <coughs> Come on, love, quick sticks. <coughs> oh, the smoke's so thick. <coughs> <coughs> It's Kate. She's coming out. You stay in there. Bloody typical. Oh, what the fuck is on? No. <gasps> when was my domain? Oh. Uh. <gasps> Which is dead, wicked witch, witch a witch. This the witch is dead, witch a witch. This the witch is dead. Hello, people. I am Captain Rahal speaking. Welcome aboard Daz Airways. We should be arriving at Ibiza Airport at precisely 2:30. It is 75 Fahrenheit. Our crew wish you a smooth journey. Don't see why we couldn't have just stayed per Woodridge. Seems bloody stupid to me. I've explained to you all once, Adams. Yeah, but oh, I don't know why us lot. I mean, are the others going to stay at Woodridge until their sentence is over or what? No, they'll probably go to Blackmoor or Barnshurst when there's space for them. Oh, well, I see. We're some sort of special case then, are we? You'll all be sent to a maximum security prison with breeze blocks that don't burn. Seems like a good idea to me, Mrs. Peterson. I'm not sure about Beryl, though. I could always send Butterfield back, Brown. Struth, no way. No, I, I, I want to stay right here with my mates, Miss Peterson. What do you think about the transfer to England, Miss Baxter? The less people that know where I am, the better. If I were you, I think I'd feel exactly the same way. We might even meet the Queen. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wouldn't it be bonzer if we could meet Prince Harry and have a nice English tea and stones? I'm going to escape when I go to the Danny. 
Scape, you mad? We should be bleeding trying, seeing as we're on a plane. Oh, you're a few bangers short of a Barbie. If you think you're gonna pull that off, God, I need a drink. Oh, my bloody JD's starting up again. Oh, what's it called again, Mrs M? Strange ways. Has it got cameras and all that sort of stuff? It's got the works, Butterfield. Makes Wentworth look like a holiday camp. Oh, Wentworth was a holiday camp. But I could have changed everything. Hey, so does does that mean people can't try to set you up? Make you do terrible things like, like trying to take a whole load of tablets? If it's like full of uh, security cameras, as you say. Yes, that's right, Brown. Shut your mouth, Brown. Hey, Katie, don't take things too personally. Do you really think I was referring to you? You know, I wouldn't rub it in anymore. You're in a real mess now, aren't you? And you're suffering for what you did. Enough, Brown. That's enough. Is there anything I can get you? Ask Brown. Oh, shut up, Adam. Oh, I'll have a, a, a gin and tonic. Kate, no! Just stay right where you are. Stay calm, everyone. Anyone for a drink? Uh, she's got a gun. Oh, please, God, don't shoot us. Stay right where you are. I'm running the show now. Kate, put it down now. Come on, repeat after me. Baxter is governor. Come on, Baxter is governor. Baxter is governor. Baxter is governor. Ba Baxter is governor. Baxter is governor. That's Baxter's it. Baxter is governor. Baxter is governor. I'm going to kill you one by one, every half hour that passes. What's the point to all of this? To be free, Brown. Free as a bird. Why not wait until you've done your sentence? If you bugger it up, you're buggered. True. Jeez, yes, yeah, she's right. Fair income. I'm not waiting around crossing no. off the days. Just think of the clouds in the sky. Look out of the window. Just meditate. You're going to be all right. Oh, I hate planes. Why do these things keep happening to me? I don't want to die. I don't want Just to die. Just shut up, or you'll get ourselves me. shot. Is that what you want? You lot must all think you're pretty smart with all the pranks you played on me in Woodridge. But I'm holding all the aces now. Please, no. Oh, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. You all think I'm joking, don't you? Ah! <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, she... Oh, she... Go. Is she getting closer? Oh my god! Oh, well. You cow! That was my wife! Oh. to abort the destination. We're going to America. America? But what about the passengers? I haven't even brought the tea around yet. I've got crisps and stuff. Do it, or you'll lose your pretty head. You leave her alone, she's all right. Fancy a woman in uniform, do you, Brown? You're <sighs> oh, all mine. Oh, 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 oh. At least I don't need weapons to put my point across. I want the dunny. Get back in your chair, Adams. You're going nowhere. Oh, come on. It could be like old times if we work as a team. We get rid of Brown once and for all. I don't think so, Adams. Get in your chair. I warned you. Oh, 
I warned you. <gasps> oh my god. That was Donna from Maternity Ward. The way you idiots are handling all of this is saving me a hell of a lot of bother. I mean, what have I got to lose? What have I got to lose? This, you filthy cow! Stokes, have you got the gun? I've got it, Gov. Stay right where you are, you great big bastard. You won't get away with this. I'll remember this, Stokes. Linda, why don't we both take over? We can shoot the governor and everyone else, crash land and go down on one of those blow-up slide things. Don't listen to her. She'll turn the tables on you once she gets that gun. One of the captains have come to see you. I can't wait for some bloody grog. Come on, be careful of the dead people. They stink. No, I'm all We've right. We've actually I've, sorted I've got motion out sickness. Now. I forgot my tablet. This you is see. Bruce. See that ginger-haired thing down there? Well, she thought she was um, hijacking our plane. Nice to see you. To see you. To see you. Nice. To see you, nice. Don't listen to her, love. Nice. No, listen to <laughs> Peterson. Don't do it, love. Can I get you a pillow for your head? Yeah. 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 Oh, it's nice. Look, really. Oh, I will. To see you, oh. nice. I changed my mind, pedo. Then I'd say that you're a very silly girl. Because I was about to strike a very good deal with you. I'm going to let you women roam free. You mean we can all be free? Free as a blue bottle. Sounds good to me. I mean, I've been to the visiting justice three times this year. I was only banged up for beating up my hubby, but I've done the time. Bastards keep knocking me back. If you just do as I tell you, then you'll see, won't you? You know me by now, Stokes. I'm firm but fair. That's my motto. No. What is going Get back. on? Get away from me. Captain Bruce, ladies, there is a slight detour, but you'll be happy to know we're back on route to Ibiza. Stay in your seats and wait for Sheila. She'll be coming around with refreshments for all of H-Block. Rest assured you're in very safe hands. Oh, I'll be back. 